What is up guys? My name is Flares and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind. In the last episode, we ventured here to Tataru Valley, the site of our adventure's beginning. For there is a Sephiroth here, or so it would seem anyway. We also gained a new ability for Mew. Now we have three abilities for our good little friend. Our good little Cheagle friend. I'm trying to hit this tree because there is a chest there and I see- God damn it. Let's see if I can do it now. No? What? Do I have to use Mew Flight? How high can I? Oh! That's cool! In the last episode, by the way, we got the Mew Flight ability, I believe is what it's dubbed. Um, Night Robe. Is that Jade? Yes, it is. New armor for Jade. Alrighty. How do I get... Oh, okay. Alright. Wait, is that how we get those other chests that are like that? Because there were... There was, um... I think there was one in... Sherry Hill, or was that one... Was that a, a Mew Attack one? I don't know, but I know I've seen other chests like that where I couldn't Mew Attack to get it. Theor Forest has a couple of them, I believe. Um, is that how I get those? Because if it is, that's cool. You know, I can go back and get those if I remember to and I don't progress too far and I walked into that enemy. Tears about to wreck this bat. I just know it. Yep, I knew it was gonna happen. I saw it coming. To be honest here, you didn't need to use your Mystic Art, but I knew the fact that you kind of went over limit and you were probably going to cast a healing spell, you were gonna go and do your Mystic Art because you kind of just do that anyway. So I just want to see Okay. <laughs> okay. Fly me up here, Mew. Six thousand gold. Alrighty. What else we got hiding around here for us? A cutscene, perhaps? I am okay with a cutscene. Those are very nice. I like them. This loading screen is long, though. I don't like that. Hey, there's something there. Is it a monster? Probably. Cry. It's a Unicerus. That is not how I would have pronounced that word. Thank God this is a voice cutscene. The sacred animal that appears in ancient Hispanian myth? Yeah, a legendary Unicerus. All right, anime. Uh, the, the, the. All right, Anis, how much is that one worth? If we catch it, we could get at least 50 million gold easy. Unicerus like clean air. If you take one to a city, it may die. He sounds like he's suffering. Suffering? Why? Because the air is polluted! What? And now he's gone. Something's coming. It's behind us. Of course it is. Oh, hi. Ah, are you Nisera's violent? Not at all. They're supposedly really gentle. They never attack people. Then what's happening right now? Here it comes again. Let's knock it unconscious and take a look at it. I like how Ion just kind of walked away. Not like Ion like ran away. No, Ion just walked away. That took a while to load. All right, hello, Unicerus. You have that epic music, which means you are a boss battle, and I need a magic lens. Throw this at you, 54,000 HP. You are weak to 
dark. Okay, we can set up, uh, we can set up all, all three of them, actually. Um, I think, maybe. I should have taken that demon seal off of, uh, Natalia, but I think we will fare just fine. Uh, looks like we want to do physical attacks over magic, slash phonic. That's kind of weird how the party has phonic attack and defense, but enemies have magic attack and defense. Is that an oversight? <laughs> uh, resists earth and light. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. So, with that noted, um... Hmm. That is light damage, we'll turn it off. Um... Uh, Nightmare is still in my... Yes, it is. That's my up spell. Uh, we need to change this one because we don't have Jade in the party. Hey, Anis, what do you have? Why are you on manual control? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, because I... Yeah. I am dumb. <laughs> we switch this over to Anna's. What do we got here? Um, that may be... Ooh, that negative gate is an option. We'll have to turn off limited on her end. Um, what do you have that could be... Do you have any darks? Mm -mm. Okay, we'll just use... Um, aerial laser... Yeah, aerial laser is actually, like, really close up. Maybe he switched that to Storm Edge. I'm gonna switch that to Storm Edge. Okay. Um, I don't actually. I I then don't have to turn off any of hers. Turn off Limited here. Oh, I can't turn those off because. Or I can't turn those on because she hasn't used them yet. She's got them coming up, though. That's cool. Uh, besides that, yeah, I just had to turn off limited then, huh? Alrighty. Nobody's got any... Yeah, okay. We are good then. Oh my god, this thing has declared alarms. All right, Anna, go for it. It missed. What? Okay. You're gonna you're gonna heal Natalia. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely heal Natalia. Um. Actually, hey Natalia, heal yourself. Yo, I can get in on that. Yo, the phone has changed. Hello? Uh, actually, she'll probably be fine. Yeah, she's got it. Let me just do this real quick. Excellent, we knocked it down. How we doing? I can read that. How are we doing? Oh, pretty great, actually. Considering that um, Natalia is not exactly the healthiest. Yeah, just just <laughs> cast resurrection already. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Hello? Do I have, by some chance, anything that can use that? Or that I know can use that or something? No? I'm gonna jump in here and life bottle her. Because we are, we are right there. 
We are right there. There we go. I was afraid for a moment there that um, we would have ended up wasting Natalia's EXP even further because um, it looked like Tyr was definitely trying to cast Resurrection, but again, it was one more hit and Anis could have dealt that hit. So, I'll take what I can get. We get a Protect Ring and a Saffron. All things considered, we're doing pretty okay, I guess. We get 15,000 gold for winning, though. That's awesome. Check out this EXP though, 92.91, which means Natalia is <laughs> Natalia is catching up real fast. Look at that, 18.5 thousand experience. That is great. She's now 36 anti-element reflect and status guard. Anis is 36. Guy is 36. Jade is 36 with ground dasher. 37 on tier with lucky magic and 38 on Luke. We can actually take that uh, demon seal off of Natalia now. <laughs> Excellent, that was a good boss fight, I think. I think. Maybe not like the most perfect, it probably could have gone smoother, but I think it went over pretty well, all things considered. I'll heal its wounds. But what do we do now? It may attack us again once it wakes up. Let's have Mew talk to it. Yes, master, I'll try. Mew! Mew, Mew, Mew! Mew, Mew! He doesn't like the miasma. Some got close to him, so he got irritated and attacked without thinking. But there's no miasma around here. He says Tyr has miasma inside her body. What? Do you know what he means? No. I don't get it. Maybe it has to do with Tyr being born in the Cliffoth. Oh, there it goes. He was thanking Tyr just now for healing him. Oh. The Unicerus must have made a mistake. Once it realized that, it thanked her and left. I bet you're happy you didn't get kicked, huh, Tyr? D don't look at me like that, it was a joke! Uh, I'm... It, it... Joke. It was a joke. Oh, this is just the way I came from. I thought it was another path that maybe I hadn't done, taken yet. Um, looking around, looking around. Anything I can do? Anything I can do? No? Okay, let's do it. Let's go! Let's do it! I'm on! I'll open it. Thank you, Ion. Are you okay, Ion? Yes. I'm just a little tired. Tear gets the same way when she activates the passage rings. Perhaps it's a side effect of Dawn Age phone machinery and phonic arts. I don't think so. Ion, shall we rest over here? No, let's go. Don't force yourself, Ion. If you're not feeling good, say something. Thank you, Luke. I mean, we could always just run back to that, uh, that, he uh, that uh, memory circle. We probably should run back to that memory circle, but hey, I'm headstrong, I'll take you on. I'm headstrong, I'll take on anyone. Run away from the bat. Hey, you can see the area we were in earlier. Elka Magior. That is a capacity core if I've ever seen one. You are not the one who uses Elka. Who uses Elka? Guy uses Elka. So we, we have two in the Magior set now. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Half the time I kind of forget about the uh, capacity cores. Over 2,000 years! Hmm. What is it, Jade? The monsters in these structures that protect the Sephiroth seem to share a particular characteristic. Huh? At Shuri Hill in the Zhao Ruins, there were a lot of golems and other artificial monsters. Yes. <laughs> they have spent 2,000 years in here, after all. 
living creatures would have difficulty finding food for such a long time. 2,000 years, all that time protecting the Sephiroth, and here we are just barging in. One could feel a certain pity for them, but we can't worry about that. There won't be much point to our efforts if monsters get us now. Yeah, I know. What's down this way? Another bat? Oh, no, that's not a bat. Okay, never mind. She she just learned a new move and then completely failed it. Oh, my goodness, all these new sh stuff. There is stuff happening, and I like it. I am much approving of the stuff that is happening. Can somebody else learn a new thing? Can I learn a new thing? I would like to learn a new thing. Oh yeah, I need to take the demon seal off of her. Didn't even think about that till now. Let me do that. Here, you can have a ribbon. Maybe. Um... Have a holy ring. Sure, you can have the ring. I didn't mean it like that. Let me recover tier. Um, you heal yourself. Uh, you can healing circle. All right, that's good enough for me. Um, 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 um. let me. I'm gonna swap you into the party and swap you into the party. And actually, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that looks good. There is nothing over here. I tempted fate. That's fine. Let's barge in. If you know what I mean, ladies. Yes, hello. I am I am Luke. Welcome to something. So we have a puzzle and an earthquake. Did another place fall or is it? Yes, it may be the tree's instability due to the out of control Sephiroth. These earthquakes have become more frequent. I feel sick every time there's an earthquake. They remind me we're floating in midair. I hope we can make the land safe again soon. I hope that Unisaurus doesn't mind being dropped into the cliff off. Just saying. Um, let me switch this to this one. Hello? That was kind of cool. Oh! That's how I do the thing! Cool! When we hit the fork, the round thing lit up. <laughs> Next to it lit up. Yes, and the door responded to that and opened. It looks like the sphere responds to the sound from the of the tuning fork. And when the sphere lights up, the door opens. Huh. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. So if I... And that closes it. Okay. I see how this puzzle's gonna work. Yep. I see all kinds of different puzzles that they're gonna do to us here. This is gonna be like Spyro 2 with a stupid glowy block puzzle. <sighs> oh? Or is it just gonna be that easy? It's not reacting when Tyr gets close. That must mean... It's the same as Shuri Hill. The Yulian seal hasn't been unlocked. I guess we'll have to go look for it. It's kind of a pain. Alright. That's, that's what I figured was gonna happen. That has memory particles in it. Or, you know, things. I can use a wing bottle here, is what I'm getting at. Alright. Um, can I go this way? Ooh. Okay. Just kind of pointing it out so that I keep it in mind. I get it. I see you. See you, game. Thanks, game. 
being a real bud. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this, and this is gonna do... All right, and then I'm gonna hit this, and this is gonna hit all three of those. Easy enough. That was an easy one. But I, I yes, it is, this is gonna be just like the stupid puzzle in Spyro 2, in the stupid totem place. That I can't remember the name of right now, but everybody who's played that game and 100%ed it knows what I'm talking about. I had a few stupid. Oh my god, god damn it. We can't lose. Ennis's face is being blocked by the uh, <laughs> information. Oh, you know what? I need to set up my cooking sh shortcuts. That's the thing that I need to do. Uh, R2 to get my shortcuts. See, I got different people making different. They're the, I got different. I got people making the same thing. Um, sushi is a moderate amount of HP. Uh, let's have Natalia. Yeah, let's have Natalia make a sandwich. That just. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with it and act like I'm not doing it on purpose. Pizza and Jade can do. Ramen. Soba noodles. Sure, why not? I assume I have the ingredients for these things. Hey, Anis, you want to make some ramen? Anis made something not too tasty. Ramen has become hard pork ramen. Okay. Good enough for me. Do 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 Mirage gloves. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Bum 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 bum. I like the 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 uh puzzles that they come up for all this stuff. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. For a moment I thought, oh, I see, I see, I see. So we're gonna do this. It's gonna shut the things off and stop the wind from coming through. Which in the first room is gonna stop that thing from spinning. Which will break the seal. The question though, since, actually does that close the door? No, it does not. Okay, it just closes the thing where the wind is coming through. Wait, I cannot enter this, I take it? Hmm. Th that's curious and I wanna know what it is. <laughs> okay. So I guess we gotta run all the way back around now. There's a chest over there. Mew wings? I think I called it Mew flight earlier. I know it's Mew wings now. There's gotta be some way to get the treasure chest. How can we get over there? Hmm, by flying through the air or something? I was right. Let's go Mew. Mew. Go. Mew. Can I? Obviously, that's the only thing I have that's flight. How else would I get this? Do I need like Mew Wings too? Do I need a better Mew Wings? Is that what I need? Because this is dumb. Ooh, I snuck past you. What now, Biash? Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. They did not. And it makes a sphere, right? So it hits that one up there too. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, let's, let's sandwich. Sandwich was cooked. I don't think you really cook a sandwich, but okay. That was Natalia's sandwich making skills. Great or great? Okay, so now I'm gonna run back downstairs and hit this again. Now I'll run upstairs, and I'm gonna hit this one right here again. I actually want that thing to be on. Um, so that I can come back downstairs. And do that. I wanna make sure I'm thinking this through right, because now middle layer has both of them on. I'm gonna hit that one and turn it on, hit that one and turn it off. All right, all right. Let me turn these ones in the middle off so that, so now I'll turn it off. Let's see. Top right will turn it off, top left will turn it on. Wait a minute. Let me just do this then. I'll hit this one, turn it off. Okay, how do these ones on the bottom work then? I hate when there's monsters in the puzzle room. Oh my God. Just stay dead. I hate when there's monsters in the uh, puzzle rooms because then I lose track of what I was doing. I do that, turns you off. Okay, it's that one affect, that will affect the ones upstairs. Okay, that's good to note. I have all the ones down here. Okay. Hit that, it'll turn it on. Hit that, it'll turn it off, and then, okay. Hit each one of these up here once. One. That doesn't go low enough to hit the ones in the middle. That'll turn it off, and then the middle one will turn it on. Perfect. And that opens the thing. Okay. What does that do for me? I can't progress any farther this way, can I? Oh, does this, okay, wait a minute. I know what this is for. Now we can use Mew Wings. Can I do it right here? Like, just to make sure I can like, test my theory? No. It won't let me just do it right here. But I'm sure that's what I needed, right? This is gonna let me use Mew Wings now, right? To get the treasure chest? Is it in that direction? No, not really. I still wanna know how I'm supposed to get this. Well, it goes through this big opening over here. So where does this let me, it just stops. Wait a minute, what? What did that do for me? Wrong thing.
That's not how physics work, game. Oh, wait. That is how physics work, game. Well, okay, sort of. An aqua cape. What does that do for me? There you are. Raises water resistance by 30%. You have an elven cape on right now. Sure, we'll we'll do that. Why not? Now where does this take me? Aha! I get it. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I do it. Okay, that's clever. That's clever. I like that, and it's clever. All right, let's go to the other side now. All right, so back out this way. We can wrap around. Actually, this one appears to be turned off already. In fact, the path just kind of ends. So is that the only way we need to go now? Can we we take care of business now? The Yulian seal's been unlocked. Now it should respond to Tear. Have we gone over why it responds to Tear yet? I don't think we have. If this happens again, we should probably check the devices in the area. My brother hasn't been here yet. Obviously, we needed Ion to unlock the, the Dothic seal at the entrance. Does this mean anyone who can use the seventh phonon can control it? No, the control panel is dormant. Probably because we ignored Van's code when we used the passage rings at Shuri Hill in the Zhao ruins. The passage rings in other lands connected in parallel considered Luke an intruder. So they executed an emergency shutdown. Then we can't control it? I think it'll work if Luke carves the commands into it with his hyper resonance. Brute force, huh? So what should I do? For measuring the vibration frequency, nothing. But considering the future, we should probably set things up to lower the land. Should I write something? Draw a line between the fourth Sephiroth and here, the sixth Sephiroth. Bypass the fifth Sephiroth. That's Xerion. There's no point in connecting it. You know, because you destroyed it. Also connect the first and third Sephiroth. Beside the sixth Sephiroth, write Tree Descent, Normal Speed. And then, activate simultaneously with the first Sephiroth descent. What does this mean? When we lower the first Sephiroth, the radiation gate, that orders this passage ring to activate and lower this land as well. We'll inscribe that same order on every passage ring in the outer lands. Then we'll give the descent command to the radiation gate. I see. Then all of the Outer Lands will descend at once. All right. Now all that's left is the vibration frequency of the core. How do we measure it, Colonel? It's simple. Touch the counter to the center phone stone. Okay, but how are we going to do that? I'll do it. Okay. Is this all? Yes. Boring. I got all worked up for nothing. I'm afraid it wasn't designed for entertainment. Yeah, come on, Annis. Let's return to Sheridan. All righty then. So is there really any reason to have the... Huh. I don't think there's really any reason to use the wing bottle to get out of here. 
to Sheridan. Sheridan! Things went more smoothly than I expected this time. The passage ring seems to be working properly, too. Properly? Did it affect you at all this time, Tyr? No, not at all. I was probably just tired before. Yeah, we were running through deserts and war zones after all. I'm glad you're fine. Yeah. How about the vibration frequency measurement? Did that work properly? Yeah, looks like it. So now we just have to give that to, I to Iaman. Uh, they might be ready and waiting by the time we get there. Then let's go. Then let us go. The world's future depends on us. Right, we can't afford to fail. We'd best prepare ourselves well. Yeah, time to stop the core's vibration. Let's head to Sheridan. All right, let's get our asses out of this place. I mean, it's not too far of a walk. It's not like the one in Zhao Ruins that was like five freaking ever. On top of that, on our way out, I want to hit that, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have just dropped us here too anyway. Maybe. Unless it counts the entirety of, of the Tataru Valley as a dungeon. In which case, I don't want it to take me all the way out. Because there's one more thing I want to do here now that we have finished up there. And... It's not just heal, but healing is also important. So, if we start to make our way out of here... I'll go ahead and get us out, you know, all the way out of Tataru Valley before we end the episode. But there is one more thing that we want to do here, just as an extra little side thing, because character development and stuff that the main game just doesn't, you know, give you, you know, main story has, you know, its moments of character development, and I'm getting attacked from behind. Hey, what the hell okay. Moonlight Tempest. Hey, I'm okay with that. All right, let's get our asses out of here. Running, that's not where I wanted to run. There we go, that's where I want to run. So I believe if we run into this Rhinosis, We're done here. we will be able to find ourselves a little scene if we return back up here. Now that we have done what we need to do in the uh, Sephiroth. For some reason, when I come here, I feel like stopping to rest. Well, shall we? I don't see why that'd be a problem. Hmm, yes, let's rest for a while. This is such a beautiful place. Yes, it's relaxing. It's the perfect picnic spot. The monsters are kind of bad, but they don't seem to come near these flowers very much. <laughs> yes, this could be a good place to bring a bag lunch and relax. Actually, I did bring something. Hey, cake! My, did you make this yourself? Yes, uh, Tamara taught me how, so... I don't know if it's any good, though. Wow, it's great! Yes, it's delicious. Tear, teach me how to make this later. You don't already know, Annis? Nope, not cake. My specialty is regular dishes, not dessert. Oh, that's somewhat surprising. What's surprising? Oh, cake! Good idea, Annis! It wasn't me. Tyr made it. What? I can't picture Tyr baking a cake. Oh, is that what was surprising? Yeah, I agree. I totally thought it was Annis. Um, Luke. How is it? Let me try some. I think it's time we should be going. We've rested long enough. What the? What are you mad about? I don't get her at all. Why'd she have to ruin the, that delicious cake? Stupid. By the way, we learned the cake recipe. <laughs> um, so what does the uh, cake recipe call for? Oh my god, we have all the ingredients for cake. Tear, bake us a cake. Tear made a tasty dish. Cake is served. 
That's what we came up here for. We came up here for a recipe of all things. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so with that, we are finished in Tataru Valley once again. Let us go find our LB or come on. Oh, hello. Enhanced cast. That's cool. Luke leveled up, Guy leveled up, and learned critical up. Any other level ups that I should know about? No, no. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> so where'd my fancy flying ship go? It's still where I parked it. Good, it's still where I parked it. That's good to note. Let me get in the Albi or so. But the enemy actually despawns because we had not gonna stand in the Albior just yet. We're gonna stand next to the Albior because we are gonna end off today's episode out on the field. Because I'm not an idiot. What? What does that even mean? Well, you can you can you can save on on the world map. There's a thing there. I knew about it. I just never used it. But um, yeah, that's a thing. So. With that, guys, we're gonna end up today's episode right here, next to our LBR, and before any monsters decide to creep up on us, I hope they don't do that while I'm doing my outro. Until the next one, guys, my name is Flares. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below, dislike it if you thought it sucked, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss future episodes. You can leave a comment down below if you feel so obligated to do so. And I already said the rest of that, okay. I'll catch you guys right back here for the next episode of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. Blind.